This video shows how to work with the ESP8266 and Proteus IoT Builder. For our example, we have the Wemos 8266, an Arduino Uno or Mega, a testing breadboard, and an Arduino Development Shield. The first step required is to solder the SIL connectors to the 8266 for use with the breadboard. Before attaching the breadboard, we need to flash the 8266 with Proteus compatible firmware. These files are included with the Proteus installation. In order to flash the 8266, you need to download the Node MCU programmer from GitHub. Connect the 8266 to the computer with a micro USB cable and then check System Device Manager to determine the COM port in use. In the config tab of the node MCU, type, paste the location of the Proteus firmware file you wish to use. Make sure only one file is selected for flashing and that the memory location is set to zero. In the operations tab, make sure the displayed COM port matches those of your device and press flash. If everything works correctly, the LED on the 8266 will flash at a rate of two hertz on completion. You then need to reset the device to complete the installation process, at which stage the LED will turn on constantly. You can now redirect your web browser to the Wi-Fi configuration manager for the 8266 by pointing at address 192.168.4.1. Select Configure Wi-Fi and choose your network from the list displayed. Enter your credentials and select Save to complete the setup of your 8266. Having configured the 8266, you can now connect it to the breadboard and wire it up to the development board as per the wiring table displayed. The final stage of this assembly process is to plug the prototyping shield onto the Arduino board. It is crucial that you disable the onboard USB serial interface on the UNO, otherwise the USB serial chip on the Wemos D1 will not be able to communicate with the ESP8266. This is achieved by connecting a jumper onto its ICSP connector. You can then stack the Arduino, 8266 development shield and any other shields in the normal manner. The hardware is now ready for use with IoT Builder in Proteus. As a simple proof of concept, we will work through an LED Blink project from start to finish. First, create a new project, being sure to use the UNO as the target device. Next, from the Add Peripherals dialog, choose the Internet of Things category and select VFP Server 8266. We'll also add the Grove LED. These are automatically added to your schematic for you and will be included in the Visual Designer project tree complete with their corresponding methods. To program the physical hardware, we need to configure the project settings from the icon on the menu bar. The programmer needs to be set to 8266 and interface to the board type selected at Project Startup. The host is then set to the 8266 connected to your system, denoted by the local IP address appendix. The username and password options should be left as the default settings for FTP server use. Once completed, we can then build our project and upload it directly to the UNO using the program button on the toolbar. The program can then be run on the real hardware with user interface available through your chosen mobile device.